Hey everybody, much love and light to all. Welcome to Maria True Seeker Cruise Channel. And I'm doing um, the readings for um, May for the um, Earth Elements. And um, I am pulling from two decks of cards. I'm pulling from the Mother Earth um, deck card. And I am pulling from the Chakra Angel deck as well. Um, the first card that I pulled out for your Earth signs is um, nine. A wise one, Major Arcana card. And the nine represents the wise one. Um, it represents Virgo, trust in self, the hermit, inner guide, self-mastery, shaman, sharing knowledge of inner journey. The wise one, sometimes known as the hermit or the crone. Maybe a man or a woman. In the car, she faces us alone with her wisdom and longevity. She wears a smock of regal or purple and blue, the same color of the high priestess cape, indicating her ability for deep insight and vision. In her hand, the wise one holds a light. 
the same one held by the child of wands, symbolizing the light in the darkness. It guides the wise one on her or his journey into the depths of the human psyche. It is representation of light of love, which sheds understanding and compassion on all things. The walking stick the wise one holds refers to the darkness that she must understand in her or his inner process. It is a snake that she holds by its head, thus controlling the danger that great power might bring. Because she controls it, she is able to lean on it, use it for protection for herself, and rely on it to help guide her through life's path thus balancing her understanding of light and dark. In the background floats the nine-pointed um, enneagram, an ancient symbol showing an internally returning, interpreted flowing process. The outer circle of points represents this process. The points themselves symbolize the steps of the process, one of self-examination and mastery. The point at the center of the top holds the open eye, the eye of witness, the all-seeing eye, the eye of Horus. This eye is sometimes seen as the eye of God watching over mankind or the eye of the world, which is an omniscience of eye of Buddha. In the fair background stands a small wooden hut. Here the wise one lives, quietly growing herbs and flowers. The wise one tends to stay clear of people in places that drain her energy. It is not that she does not like to uh, be around others, but that she is picky about what influences she surrounds herself with. The direction in her life is to find inner wisdom and to learn to listen to her inner voice and inner healer. She prefers to be around others with similar goals. Therefore, the wise one is generally seen as a quiet, centered person of much personal power and ability to heal or teach on a deeply intuitive level. The intention is to go deeply inward in solitude, to teach others who you come to, who come to you for help. Do not suffer because you have a need to be apart from others. You can find strength in deep meditation done in solitude as you visit the inner planes of your own being. Keep a watchful eye for details and you might normally miss or ignore. Your inner terrain is rich and can, can teach you much. Others will come for you for help. There is no need to adverse your skills. That is not your bent. Give generously to those who find you and your kindness will come back to you tenfold. That was the nine, the wise one. And then the second card that came up was another um, major arcana. It's 13, which represents death. This card is um, represents Scorpio, um, rebirth, a death and rebirth, endings, coming to term, transformation, assimilation, external change. Here the death stands at a skeleton form cloaked with the heavens. He is stepping through the yani-shaped doorway of Gaia. Behind death is a rainbow of promised life and renewal. It is a bridge, a pathway, a ladder that symbolizes the divine cleansing of earth. Around the um, outer edges of the card are the four colors, white, black, red, and yellow. In the Native American cultures, these they symbolize the mental emotional, spiritual, and physical aspects of life, as well as the four directions and stages of life. Yellow, which represents east, also represents infancy. Red represents south, also represents childhood. Black represents west, which also represents adulthood. And white represents north, which also represents old age. These are the eternal cycles of human life on earth. 
a very strong transformation is taking place in your um, life right now, um, Earth Signs. These change may be uh, unexpected, but it is sometimes that you will be able to deal with. It may be a change that you have been longing for and see with your great um, happiness or something that you have dreaded and seeing with a sense of mourning. Whichever it is, in whatever um, level and degree of reaction you have, this change will give you the opportunity to rebuild yourself to be a wiser and more compassionate person. Allow yourself time to be to say goodbye. That is the 13 of death. And then for your earth signs, I have the um, eight of wands. The eight of wands represents Mercury in Sagittarius, which represents balance swift and centered change of direction. The eight of one indicates the ability to stay in your center. Once you can stay there, you are ready to begin a new direction or leg of your journey. In this card, the two centering staff represents the positioning of the seeker and the shaman. The four elements are represented by the red ribbon of fire, the green branch of earth, the purple seaweed of the ocean, and the lightning bolt of the heavens. The striped staff represents the principle of the yin and yang. The gray staff represents the strength and wisdom. The golden background in the early sun rising in the heavens, the coming of a new dawn. This card is about balance. The eight wands form a gyroscope, a device which can maintain a position regardless of outside influences. The point of perfect balance resides in the very center. It is a position of witnesses, the observer. The gyroscope can change direction very swiftly, but it will hold its center. For you, um, air, uh, for your earth signs, you are standing centered and ready for the next step in your um, life's process. You have learned how to keep yourself together, even when everything around you is pushing and pulling you at, at you. Keep your communication clear and precise, and you will be understood. That was the eight of wands that I had pulled out from the um, Mother, Earth, Mother Earth deck. Okay, for the um, chakra angels, um, for you earth signs, uh, the first deck, the first card that I pulled out from the deck was um, dream. And this card represents um, bringing awareness to your brow. Touch, touch your third eye and invite your sixth chakra to be activated. Bring the gift of activated insight energy to your um, seven receptive centers. And in the card, um, while she sleeps, the child within breaks through the chains and flies off on a graceful white swine to fetch a dream, get gathering more insight, letting her um like her inner child go out as she's like like an astral projecting as she sleep, gathering more knowledge while she dreams. And with um when you're meditating, uh you could use an uh Cause this is this is also uh, for your your crown chakra and your crown chakra. So you're gonna use um, the gemstone lapis lazuli. You could use the fragrance frankincense. You could wear the color indigo, and this activates also the physical um, property of the pituitary pituitary gland. And when meditating, when you have that lapis lazuli or you have an amethyst, uh, you could use the mantra sound, ah. And while, you, um, while you're meditating, have, do affirmation and say, as I listen with grace in the silence of meditation, insight enters deep within me from the heavens. 
receive it with grace. So we're talking about your third eye in your in your um, crown chakra. Again, you could use the um, binarial beats for your um you could do a combination of for the third eye eight fifty two um, hertz and your crown chakra nine sixty three hertz. Um, you could use um, again la piece la soul um, solidate. Um, Amethyst, Moldavite, Clear Quartz, and for the uh, mantras again, you could say for your um, third eye, the um sound, or and for the uh, and for the crown chakra, you're gonna say the um sound, and that is for um. Your reading for the earth signs for the month of May. Namaste. Much love.